Peace, D-Mind, 255 here. What up? What up? It appears that Capcom is trying to extend more time for Street Fighter VI with this, they called it, character balance update. It's evidently obvious, like I said in my last video concerning Street Fighter VI, that I don't think they're going to have much ready next February. And they know that people are beyond done with Street Fighter V, so they add these new character balances is what they call it. Looks like it's just an evolved juggling system of some sorts of buffed up V-triggers. I'm not sure, really, to be honest with you. I'm sure it'll be evident in time. But this is a great update, but it's two years too late, I want to say. Um, it it kind of reminds me of Street Fighter 4's Omega Mode, where they gave all these characters all these additional unbalanced abilities to do more in the game. While it's uh, entertaining, it's just, in my opinion, it's just too late, you know? The other problem with this character balance is that they're putting so much content into Street Fighter V right now that no matter how much, unless they do something equal to size, no matter how much content that's put into Street Fighter VI, it's going to look small compared to Street Fighter V's huge character roster. All of these updates, V-triggers, you're going to go from this to like, I guess they won't do a bare bone game, but it's a lot. It's a lot to um, compensate for. In my opinion, Street Fighter VI should not come out next February. It shouldn't. I, I, they probably need more time than that. They just showed you, a couple of weeks ago, a 40 second trailer. They, they couldn't even show you any gameplay. This has, and I, as I said before, this has Anthem vibes written all over it. Do I think this character update looks fun? I think it looks absolutely fun. I think it looks great. It looks like something to look forward to. But it's just so late in the game cycle. Let me ask you this question. What incentive do you honestly have to continue playing Street Fighter Five right now. You know that a new game is coming out. Why would you invest in playing this game even longer? Learn new mechanics and becoming better at it. Um, they put filters in here. Nobody asked for that. I don't remember anybody asking for that, but they put in all these new filters. Nobody asked for this. Um, no one asked for that. And on top of that, they, they're adding music. The way acts for track costumes, so they're running out of content, or they can't because they nobody wants any DLC. I don't know. I don't even know if there are any DLC characters worth adding to this game at this point. To be honest with you, guest characters, whatever the case is. Uh, Luke was sent to be the final DLC, and that's fine. But it is March. You don't get another update until June, and I doubt we're gonna see a lot. Maybe they'll surprise us in June. But I'm, I'm doubting that we're going to see a lot of uh, revealed uh, come summer of 2022. So, it, I, would I play it? Maybe for fun. But I, there's there's absolutely no sense to play Street Fighter 5 right now. The Capcom has to realize that. In fact, until they made this update, quite honestly, I had zero interest in watching Street Fighter 5 at EVO. Other than just the announcement. So, uh, anyway, well, for those of you who will enjoy it, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I think the update's a little too late in the game cycle, and I really hope they put off Street Fighter 6 for a while. So, because right now, Street Fighter 5 is very robust and robust, and uh, it's going to be a problem if Street Fighter 6 does not have some similar level of content. That is all. 255 out. One.